Today's video from Sam for us help. We're taking a look at tax programming on the NR500 series. In particular, we're looking at the flat keyboard machines, so the 510F and the 520F. In this video, I'm using a 510F, but the process will be exactly the same on the 520. So if you've got a 520F, you can follow the process. Um, as standard on the machine, um, you've got PLU buttons programmed into it, or even as default, some of them aren't programmed. Um, but they won't have any tax statuses applied to them. So you can set the machine up, use it with prices and product descriptions without programming the tax. Um, but what you can do is the machine has four dormant tax rates on it, which are all set to uh, zero percentage, and all the PLUs are set to be non-taxable. Um, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a couple of tax rates, and then crucially how to apply those tax rates to your products. Um, on this video is in the UK, so I'm setting up our current VAT at 20%. So tax rate 1 is going to be VAT at 20%, so that'll be an add-in tax. And I'll also set up tax rate 2 at 5% because that's currently the reduced um, tax rate 2 we have. Obviously, if you're watching from a different territory or a different time where the rates have changed, the process is the same. You can still use this video, but obviously just put in a different rate when I put in 20 and 5 Okay, so the first thing you need to do is, uh, providing you've got the metal key marked P, is turn it around to the PGM position. And then we're looking at taxes to start with, so that's line 7. So you can either scroll down to line 7 or press 7. It jumps to taxes, cash to enter, and then you now enter the tax rate you want to program. So I'm going to program tax rate 1 to start with. So 1, and then cash enter. That brings up the default settings for my tax one. So you can edit the description, but I'm, I'd recommend not doing that for now. Um, get a feel for how the tax prints out on your receipt and crucially your end of day reports before you start editing descriptions. Um, the crucial thing to change, well, there's two things. It's the type and the rate. So add on tax would be if you were charging your customers a pound and the till was then adding the tax on to that pound. That's not how VAT works um, in most businesses in the UK. Normally, if you sell something in your shop for a pound, that pound is already has the VAT included. So you need to press enter and then change it to VAT. Enter to save and then arrow down to the rate. Enter to go into it and then you type in the appropriate rate. So currently mine's 20. Cash to save, clear to come out of it. So we've got tax one, VAT, 20%, clear. And then I'm gonna set up tax two by pressing two and then enter. Tax two is a fine description. And then I change it from add on to VAT, cash to save. And then we just type in our rate, cash to save, and then clear a couple of times till we get back to the main um, PGM mode. So that's the tax set up. We've set up two tax rates, we've set them to be VAT, um, so they're all ready to go. The next step is to apply those rates to our PLUs. So arrow up to one PLU is highlighted, cash to enter, add and change, one PLU. Um, if you've got lots of PLUs, um, with the same tax rate on them, which you probably have, I'll show you a way of bulk editing so you can just enter um, the tax rates in one go for them. But in this video, we're just we're showing the process of how it works. So I'm doing them one by one. Um, all you need to do is arrow down to the lines five and six, which are taxable by rate one and two. You've also got taxable by rate three and four. You should find that they're all defaulted to no. And then all you need to do is to choose rate one, two or three and change it from ye, uh, no to yes. So if I wanted this product to be taxable by tax rate one, I go into taxable by rate one by pressing cash, enter, and then you arrow up from no to select yes. And that's done. That product is now taxable by rate one. Repeat the process for every item. Taxable by rate one, I want to change that to yes. Cash to save, clear, press the PLU. Tax rate one, yes, cash to save. P 
PLU4 into the rate yes cache to save clear what else have we got okay so a box of eggs would be an example of a product that isn't taxable by any rate so what you could do is you could either leave it as it is or you could select the taxable by rate free because that's one that's at zero six put at tax rate one I'll just do one more. I've got a fuel product in, so I'm going to say select that to be tax rate two, just so we've got a couple of different, where well, we've got three different tax rates on there. Okay, so that's the end of my PLU programming. What I'm quickly going to do, because I didn't plan on using tax rate three, I'm just going to double check that it is actually at zero and set to be the right way. Enter tax free. Um, it doesn't matter because it's at zero, but I've, I've set it so it's all the same, just in case it ends up having a rate applied to it. Okay, so we come back out of there, clear, get you back to the main program screen, and then you can turn the key round to the PGM position. So if we sell our items, um, I find working the tax out easier if I've got a nice round amount. Will that let me? No, it's a preset required. What have we got? 850. £12, yeah that's a good one, so £12 through my tax one departments, I think I'm going to try and remember where my box of eggs was, it was either five or six, no, to avoid that off, there it is, um, and then my fuel product was down here, subtotal, cash that sale off, there's a couple of things that's changed on the receipt um, so you can see the T1 is after each product so it confirms what tax rate you've assigned to them so coffee and sandwich are at tax rate one as was Foster's Point my box of eggs was tax rate three uh, and then fuels tax rate two so it only displays tax one and tax two as standard which is fine because tax three was at zero so there's no value to show so you can see from there I've sold £10 through my taxable one departments. Sorry, I've sold £12, haven't I? Where are the sales? Yes, I've sold £12 through my tax rate one. And because that's 20% add in, it means it was £10 net um, and then plus £2 tax. So the £2 is part of the £12. Then in my fuel department, which was um, tax rate two at 5%, I've sold, you can see because it says T2 there, £10 and the tax of that was 48p which must mean that if you take £9.52 and add 5% to it you get to £10 and then obviously we had our £1.50 through the eggs department which gets us to the 23.50. Okay so that's the um, tax rate programming that's how it appears on the receipt I'll do a Z report as well this might have some old sales in it because I forgot to wipe it down so the figures will look a bit different to what I've done um, but it does split it down so you've got your tax one sales so that's all the sales that day through the tax one products tax two tax three and then it actually splits it out so it says the tax totals as well so yeah it's it's well worth doing and well worth doing correctly um, clear back to the main mode and then to the register mode okay yeah i hope that video has been helpful um, we've got plenty more videos uh, some of which will be appearing on screen now actually showing you how to set up and use the nr500 series registers so please check those out you can also subscribe to this youtube channel or visit sam4shelp.co.uk for more thanks for watching